was a long, strenuous journey for teenage Emily and her older brother Joseph from England across the sea. Their parents had sent them to join the saints out west. They had been given a promise with survival they'd be blessed. Then in October, the hand carts had finally arrived at Laramie, hoped to find provisions there, but supplies there would not be. As they walked along the trail, some of their load was disposed, leaving them so vulnerable in the cold they were exposed. As the snow began to fall, then a blizzard soon arrived. Joseph slept between two men. Neither of the others survived. When Joseph caught pneumonia, company said, leave him behind. Emily said, I'll not leave him. We will come. She was resigned. She put Joseph in the hand cart, then with a the little girl's aid, pulled the cart for three days, and with the group she stayed. At Devil's Gate they rested. There were many who had died, but Emily and Joseph knew their blessing still applied. A rescue party found them. In the nick of time they came. One was a young horse rider. William Cowley was his name. When he saw brave Emily, he was taken by her grace. Some day will you marry me? My proposal, please embrace. She said she didn't know him and permission he would need. You have to ask my parents. Without that, we can't proceed. For three years, William Cowley was off helping those in need. At last, he arrived in Salt Lake. To find Emily, he did proceed. When he finally found her, did she recall what he asked? You need my parents okay. Then we'll settle this at last. I wrote and have an answer. They approve if I am good. So she became his wife, just as he knew she would.